Today we are going to be making warm chocolate melting cake. Um, any of you carnival cruisers out there will know that it's one of Carnival's signature desserts that they have and it's pretty tasty. It's been around for a few years and very popular. So we're going to try to make it today for our New Year's dessert, dinner dessert. And that'll be our last um, bit of sweets before we start our pre-cruise diet. We're going to be going on the Carnival Vista in March and we are pretty excited about that. So we will be eating a lot. There's a lot of new food venues on there I hear and we'll be eating, drinking, having a good time and we don't want to worry about gaining 20 pounds when we come home. So we're going to pre-diet a little before and so we can hopefully come home maybe only two or three pounds overweight. Anyways. So, before we get started, I want to talk a little bit about, I'm um, going to be starting a new area on my blog, SharonAtSea.com, about um, pre-cruise, pre-vacation dieting, maybe some health tips, uh, some low-calorie recipes, exercise, just things like that to help people that like to diet and do things before their vacation. If you have any great recipes or comments, tips, anything like that, leave them under the comment section and I'll be sure to add them to my blog under that section so it can help other people and they're able to try them as well. Another thing is I've just started a marketplace on my blog. Everything sold on there is through Amazon. So you can go through there and look at anything if you want to buy anything that you might need for your travels. Everything on the site has been either personally purchased by me and used and I feel like it's a good product or I've done a lot of research on it and it appears to be a good product. So pretty much anything you buy on there you're safe with as um, for all, any of your travel needs basically. Anyways, so with that being said, be sure to follow my blog, SharonAtSea.com, for notifications, saying about any of my new videos, tips, I do cruise reviews, um, I'll be doing a great review coming up on the Vista in March uh, with lots of pictures, videos, and more. Anyways, so let's get started on making some warm chocolate melting cake. Okay, so let's get started. I'm ready to go, got my hair back, and I am ready to cook. So. First thing, we got, we're going to take six ounces of butter and six ounces of dark chocolate and we're going to cook it on the stove and melt the chocolate pieces. So I've already sprayed my pan with Pam. It is a non-stick pan, but I don't like to take chances because I hate to clean dirty pans. So anyway, so the butter's in there, adding my chocolate chips. I could not find like the bar of dark, dark chocolate, so I'm using just the... Nestle's dark chocolate chips, it should work fine. Um, so there's three quarters of a cup, which is six ounces in there. So now we're going to put it on the stove over here and we are going to turn it on and let it slowly melt. And we will need to keep stirring it so it doesn't. chocolate doesn't burn. Then, while that's cooking, we're going to take four eggs, we're going to crack them and put them in the bowl here. And one thing to make sure the eggs, um, it states to make sure that the eggs are room temperature. I'm not sure what difference that really makes, but that's what the recipe says, so that's what we're going to do. Then we're going to add our sugar, which is six ounces of sugar, three quarters of a cup. And we're going to whisk it all together. And as you're whisking it, we're going to take a quick stop and run over and check on our butter and chocolate here. Okay, next thing we're going to add two ounces of flour to this. So I'm going to slowly, try to slowly pour it in here and whisk it. Well, it's just not any slowly pouring it in. So let's just get it in there and start whisking. Take another quick break and check on our 
my chocolate. Looks like it's doing pretty good. It's just about melted. Why are you smelling like warm chocolate melted cake? It's similar. It needs to be really stirred up well and the, the flour because it kind of the key is to get the flour really stirred in because it kind of tends to clump up at this point in here. So, so, so I'm going to whisk it a little and then I'm going to let it sit a little too because it will it'll dissolve slightly on its own as well and then we can whisk it some more and check on the chocolate. another recipe for this on another website. It wasn't the official caramel one that said 375, but we're going to go with what the caramel recipe says. So let's whisk some more. Now another thing too is you can, if you see anything like, I just see a couple little flour clumps in here. You can kind of pick them out if you just don't want to, want to make sure you don't have any like clumps of flour in the chocolate later. You can kind of go through it, but it's actually pretty smooth. It's pretty good. We'll just give it a little more. Then the next step is you're going to add this into the chocolate. Then you are going to pour it into some little bowls like this. And the recipe says it makes four of these. It's four servings. So that's probably all it actually is going to make. I set out six because I wasn't sure. I thought maybe it would make a little more. But my um, Containers here are actually a slightly bigger than the ones Carnival uses, so it, it may only be three for all I know. <laughs> so, and it does say to grease them, so I'm going to take each one of these. I'm going to put a little bit of pan in them. So we'll go ahead and just do four of them. into the chocolate and stir it until it's all one of my panel here and I am going to set these in and we'll put this in the oven and we are going to bake them for 14 minutes on 390 degrees and then basically they're finished we just um, need to get our ice cream ready and have our little chocolate pieces so while these are cooking we're gonna make our chocolate pieces okay now Next up, we are going to make our chocolate to decorate the ice cream that goes with the chocolate melting cake. 
first thing you do is we are going to spread out a piece of wax paper. Then I'm going to take the chocolate. We're going to make the dark chocolate um, pieces here. You take the cubes like this so you can buy in the store. And I'm also making, um, doing one of the white chocolate. And then I'm going to drizzle the white chocolate over the dark, the milk chocolate and just to kind of make it pretty, basically. Okay, so let's stick this in the microwave for 90 seconds and then we're gonna stir that a little bit and once it's liquid, we're gonna kind of pour it out on the wax paper, let it harden. Once it's almost hardened, we are going to melt this and kind of just drizzle it over. And then once it all is dry and hardened, we can just break it up into pieces and those will be our little pieces that we stick in the ice cream to decorate it up with. Okay, it's finished. Take it out. Ooh, a little bit hot. Okay. okay. We're going to take it. more than enough. Probably one chunk would have made enough for the four little servings, but um, and we'll let that sit a little bit. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and warm this up so we can drizzle it over the top. Okay, the white chocolate is finished. Take it out. And then, it's a little, you want it to be a little thicker, and then so you're just, I'm just going to take it like this. kind of do whatever. I'm just going to kind of drizzle it all over the top like this. Just kind of shake it. I don't, we won't even use the whole thing. We're just kind of maybe one more. And that's just enough. We don't want to cover all the chocolate. Okay. So you can see that from there. It's actually kind of hard in the top. See it looks like that. And we're just going to let it cool and harden up, and then we're just going to break it into little pieces to decorate our ice cream for the chocolate melting cake. We have a few more minutes, about eight more minutes for that chocolate melting cake to cook. Then we can pull it out of the oven, break up our chocolate, put our ice cream with it, and dessert will be ready. So we'll be back in a minute with our results. Oh, it looks like they're almost finished. About five more minutes. So far they're looking pretty good. Okay, and we're back. We probably have about two more minutes on the warm chocolate melting cake. In the meantime, our chocolate is one big piece here. And uh, you see how we drizzled the white chocolate on top just to, you don't have to do that, but I had it actually the white chocolate, so I thought, oh, why not make it look kind of pretty. Anyway, so then you take it and you're just going to break, break little okay, pieces off. Now we have a lot of little pieces here of chocolate and we'll let that sit until our chocolate melting cake's done and we'll get our ice cream out and we'll have our dessert finished for the evening. Okay, we're back. It looks like the melting cake is done and we're going to take it out of the oven and let's see what it looks like. take them out here so you can see them, but they're very hot. Set them on here. And they, you can feel them that they have um, the kind of liquid stuff in them like they do on the cruise ship. I have my ice cream here. I'm going to take some of my chocolate pieces. I'll take one of these, maybe this one, just this little one. And we're going to just stick.
stick it right here in the chocolate. If you have some piece of chocolate sprinkles, you can sprinkle on the ice cream as well to make it look pretty and not too much. Okay, so there we go. We have our chocolate melting cake and our ice cream. Looks just like the picture. And I think it turned out good. This is the recipe from Carnival. You can usually get it on the behind the scenes tour at the chef's table. And I will post this on my blog. It very turned out to be very easy. Only took about 10 minutes of prep time and then the 14 minutes of cook time. So it's a great quick little fancy dessert for you here. There you go. Can I eat it now? <laughs> eat it? It's for dinner. Can't wait. I don't want to wait. I've been smelling it all afternoon. I do not want to wait anymore. All right. Maybe we'll just eat these now and skip dinner. How's that? Okay. <laughs> okay. Perfect. All right. Well, be sure to follow, to subscribe to SharonC.com, and you can see the whole video and all the information on this, the recipes, and there'll be more soon. See ya from Sharon and C. Mmm, delicious.